schedule's been working with Lamar. I already knew. What? What the hell you was gonna do if I ain't told you? Get used to this position. Come on. Ballistics connected your gun to the murders of Catherine Eder and James William. J-Mo. Yeah, oh, you gonna be a hit in prison. Or that gun could get misplaced on its way back to evidence. I want Meech. Help me get him. Or I'm gonna make sure that you eat both these charges. Tick tock. Thanks for having my back. You know this for life? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love BOMF, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're gonna be talking about BOMF season two, and we're gonna be talking about your boy, B Mickey. This is the What To Expect video for B Mickey. So I want you guys to leave your predictions for his character. What do you think is gonna happen for B Mickey in season two of BOMF? Now, you guys, make sure you checked out my last few videos. I dropped the BOMF Season 2 Terry and Markeisha What to Expect video yesterday. And I also dropped the BOMF documentary, Blowing Money Fast, Episode 7 Review. Make sure you check out that show because if you watch the documentary, you will see some of the real people that these characters are supposed to be in the BOMF show. So make sure you check out the documentary. The real B Mickey is in the actual show and he's explaining some of the things that him and Meech and Terry used to do back in the day. Like I said, the documentary is great. It's definitely preparing and getting more people hyped up for season two and I cannot wait to see it. And also make sure you check out the BOMF season two, K9, the new threat video that I did last week. Gives you a little bit more intel on who K9 is and what he's going to bring to the table in season two of BMF. But let's talk about the topic of discussion. Your boy B. Mickey, what to expect, what he going to be on in season two. Now, we know B. Mickey, he has some issues at the end of season one. Detective Bryant was a big one, right? And in season two, I believe you're going to continue to see that issue until you know it's handled that's going to have to be handled quickly at the very beginning of the season now we know detective brian he had the gun that b mickey caught bodies on and it was crazy because back in season one when b mickey had that strap everybody was saying why is this dude carrying around his gun why don't he just get rid of it i mean his boys even told him to get rid of it you know what i'm saying but he continued to carry it around and we knew eventually it would catch back up with him detective brian took advantage of that told him if you don't get me Meech, then, you know, these two bodies going to be on you. You know what I'm saying? So B. Mickey has a problem. His loyalty will definitely be tested once again in season two. In season one, we saw what happened with the whole Kato thing. It was funny as hell when Meech told him already knew about Kato and the look that Meech gave B. Mickey. When B. Mickey told him, what was you going to do if I didn't say anything? Meech looked at him like, look, you already know what would have happened. You know what I'm saying? You know what would have happened if you didn't tell me. But B. Mickey did tell him he proved his loyalty. And in season two, I think B. Mickey once again will prove his loyalty just based off what he did in season one and also based off the real story of BMF. This dude is a loyal soldier. He is not about to crack up under the pressure. But then again, y'all know how they do TV. They like to switch things up for TV purposes. We saw that in season one. Don't be surprised if you see it again in season two. But one thing I believe is B. Mickey will stay loyal no matter what. It will be, you know, some challenges that's going to come their way, but they will get through it as a family. Now, Detective Brian, as I told y'all, he needs to be handled quickly in season two. Um, I don't believe he's going to be able to do anything to B. Mickey, even though he has the strap and they making it seem like B. Mickey is going to go down if he doesn't say anything. In my prediction, B. Mickey, he will rather get locked up before he gives up Meech. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's giving up any intel at all. And if they play it out like that, so be it. Be Mickey. He will rather go in instead of giving up his boy. But I got a feeling Detective Bryant's new partner will be the issue this season. I compared her to Detective Burke and Detective Howard storyline and Power Book 3 Raising Canaan. I mean, this girl going to be on one. I mean, she was telling Detective uh, Bryant that you can't act like you don't see everything or whatever in the trailer. So she's going to be on his case. I'm going to tell you right now, Detective Bryant, even though he wants Meech, it is going to be some things that he's going to be like, man, I can't really do that. 
I can't really say anything about that because we know he's tied into some stuff his damn self. So expect him and his partner to have some issues. But she would definitely be a problem. And we know Leslie Jones, her character coming in, she's going to be a problem as well. They're going to try to crack down and figure out who they can bust. But it's not going to be easy. Now, besides the law enforcement issues that B. Mickey is going to be faced with and also loyalty, which I think he's going to get over, B. Mickey most likely will help out Meech and Terry with this whole K-9 situation. We talked about K-9 last week. He will be an issue. I believe B. Mickey will be one of the guys that's going to step up to the plate and help his boys out and try to figure out a way to neutralize this dude. Because if not, he's going to continue to be a problem for the organization. So expect B. Mickey to be one of those guys that's willing to put in the work to get rid of K-9. Now, also, I believe B. Mickey will still be struggling mentally because of what happened to Kato in season one. Y'all saw how he was tweaking out at the end of season one after he did what he did to Kato because he really loved that girl, but he couldn't allow her to live based off what was going down. He couldn't do it. We know Lamar and Kato had a little thing going, and of course, B. Mickey had a choice to make. He had to get rid of her, and he was just struggling mentally because he was like, man, he didn't really want to do it deep down inside, but it was something that he had to do. It needed to be done and of course I believe in season two he will continue to struggle with those things mentally but I think he will find better ways to deal with that pain now B Mickey proved in season one that no matter what he's willing to step up to the plate he's willing to catch a body if he got to and if Meech tells him or Terry tells him look I need you to do this he is the right hand man he is the guy that's going to step up and say you know what I will do it I will get rid of that person. In season two, I believe B. Mickey will be on that same type of energy. But this time around, I think he's going to be a little bit more smarter. If they tell you to get rid of the strap, B. Mickey, get rid of the strap. Don't be carrying it around. Don't be bonding with it and stuff like that. You know, sleeping with it. Get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Because you keeping that strap in season one is what got you in the position that you were in right now. So we're going to see what your boy B. Mickey is going to be on in season two. I predict that he's going to be moving a little bit more smarter compared to season one. And I also predict that he's going to be loyal to the end. This dude is loyal. He proved that in season one. And I think he's going to continue to prove it in season two. But you guys, y'all let me know. Leave your theories, predictions. Leave it all down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think is going to happen with your boy B. Mickey. I want to thank you guys for all the love, all the support. I will continue to talk about more characters. We will continue to get ready for BMF season two airing January 6th. Black Mafia Friday, we are almost there, and I cannot wait. But I want to thank y'all for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.